Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how I make my simple tutus. There's many different ways to make tutus. So First I'm going to cut all my tulle. I actually have a jig that holds my rolls of tulle as I buy them at 6 inches by 100 yards rolls. I just prefer this method. I pull to the measurement I want and then I slice it with my rotary cutter. For my elastic, I use a non-roll elastic. It's about three quarters of an inch or one inch. It depends on what size of tutu I'm making. And I overlap it by one, almost an inch and sew a box around with a zigzag stitch. Now, sorry about the angle of my camera. I'm working with a new mount and I think I'm going to be getting another new one just to get a better angle here. So once you've got your elastic prepared, I grabbed two layers of tulle by the length that I wanted and I pull together and I loop it over the elastic. Now make sure when you're doing this not to pull tight. You don't want to put any stress on the elastic. Once I've gone all the way around, I head back to my sewing machine and with a zigzag stitch, I stitch everything down. This isn't necessary to do, this is just how I prefer to make my tutus. Make sure when doing this, if you will, are going to sew it, to do a wide zigzag. It doesn't have to be a perfectly straight line, it's going to be hidden anyways. You can imagine with all the puffiness how much more difficult this gets as the tutus get bigger. So once you've gone all the way around, make sure to back stitch. And I always like to test my stitches and give it a little pull or stretch. So now I'm going to use my one and a half inch satin ribbon. I like to use this wide of a ribbon because after I've wrapped it around and no matter how much you pull it, it covers any gapping. That's another reason why I always say to sew it down because it prevents gapping from happening. After you've wrapped around all the way and come back to the start, tie a knot and make a bow. Be sure to seal your edges. I do this by using a lighter and just slightly going over the raw edges of the satin ribbon. And once you're done, I actually like to put one of my labels in. I use these labels I bought with my company name on it and I turn them into a iron-on patch. If you want to learn how to make an iron-on patch, you can check out my other video on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link in the description box below. If you liked watching this video and want to see more, I can do other variations and I can post them up. Also, if you want to check out my website, 
I sell lots of custom items over on my Etsy shop. Thanks guys for watching and remember hit that subscribe button.